85 pilot with you out at the uh, Hillsboro hangar on a Sunday afternoon and uh, doing some work on the wings. You'll see I've removed the bolts that hold this one bracket on that holds one of the uh, bushings with an aileron at the outboard edge. And then I've untaken another bolt that holds this torque tube that drives that aileron. I've removed that as well. And so now what I'm gonna do is pull that through and uh, get access to the flap, pull the flap loose so I can put the uh, recessed uh, countersunk screws into there. I have some nut plates I need to install into that particular bracket and, uh, and then reassemble. And so what you'll see is this aileron kind of loose out from the other end. that pull loose. Now inspect the bushings that were in place. These carriers, make sure they're proper. Then I also get access to get this flap off so I can get to that other plate. So now the flap is not secured anymore at the ends. I should be able to slip it off of this Uh, some screws that need to be tightened that would have been difficult to get at but this assembly right here I need to clean the cobwebs off of this and then we're gonna put some uh, nut plates on there so that I can use some countersunk screws so I can take this apart again if I ever need to other uh, bearing surfaces look good so uh, I'm going to get to work on this part right here. So I've got the uh, last of those uh, nut plates drilled into that bracket. And uh, you'll notice I have to use an offset nut plate for some of these because I don't have the uh, sufficient space to uh, have the rivet on both sides. So uh, that was a little bit unique. Now I have to get the uh, countersinking done so that these fit properly. And I have an idea of some of these edges. I'm gonna to have to sand the edges of some of these nut plates to uh, fit into that location. Now I have all the countersinking done and ready to uh, rivet those pieces in. So uh, we're about to find out how easy this is to make work. So I have one side completed. We're about to uh, take the flap and set it back on and install. And there we have the completed product and everything lining up and working. So I'm very happy with that modification and the fact that I can now remove that flap without having to drill a rivet out at a later date. Well, I now have both sides completed. And I can tell you that I'm pretty happy with that. That leaves me in a position where I'm ready to uh, clean these wings up a little bit and install them onto the fuselage. That'll be coming up next. I'm getting ready to uh, wrap it up for the day. That uh, right wing is giving me one hell of a bunch of trouble getting it back on and uh, the aileron to 
aligning with stuff. So uh, I've got to look some things over and I think I have to, to uh, at least get a new uh, rack made out, rack and pinion uh, set up on that right wing is the one that has the damage. And I may have to uh, move that gear, the uh, pinion itself out to where it's supposed to be installed. And, uh, and that might be why I'm having the trouble I'm having. So for now, BD-5 Pilot out. I'll be out here next weekend to uh, wrap up getting this ready for the air show.